What's happening, Tubes? Hope y'all all had a good weekend. Um, I did. We did. Uh, we did end up going to a small town and doing a little bit of recording. Um, I put that video up earlier, or whatever. Um, you can go and take a watch at it if you'd like. Um, I ain't got a whole lot to talk about. I did get the shop cleaned. Let me turn this camera around. I'll show you what I'm talking about. If you remember, you know, all this whole floor in here had shit scattered all over the place. And, uh, you know, got it all out. Looks a lot better than what it did, for what it is. Um, I really would like to figure out somewhere to put these bags other than in here. But I, I need, like, uh, some rope, a couple of pulleys, and, um something somewhere to mount it to so it can have some support of some kind I'm thinking about actually using these little beams here that one right there would be a perfect candidate for one and if I didn't have all that stuff over there that would be a perfect candidate for the other you know have one on each side different stuff in but then eventually it's going to end up getting in the way anyhow so I'd end up moving it again. <clears throat> With me um, acquiring this drum here that I'm going to be using for a trash can rather than the trash can that I did have, I had to find some bags that would fit it. Well, if you're looking for some good, decent bags, um, these so far, I mean, I just got them tonight. Um, actually are pretty good they are you know a 55 gallon drum bag and uh well liners bags whatever you want to call them and uh, these are it right here you get 40 bags is actually two rolls there's one roll here and then the second one there and they are textured um supposed to be tear resistant the 40 55 gallon bags 208 liters if you're in Canada two feet 11 three quarters of an inch that'd be wide by four feet and five seven eighths inch tall and by one mil 90.8 centimeters by 1.36 meters by 25.4 I'm not sure what the hell that is is that a PM or UM I don't know different metrics and it's made in the US don't hardly find that anymore but um, this whole box right here was like 14 bucks <clears throat> so you can't beat that and uh I was just outside here looking a minute ago. I'm not sure if you can see this tree here, but I've got a limb that's hanging right on top of the building. And to give you any idea, here's my hand, here's the bottom limb. So, with that being said, Looks like I'm going to have to be doing some trimming come soon. <sighs> like I tell y'all, if it's not one thing, it's another. But, 
that is life. Let me flip this around. But I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, what what can you do? If it's not one thing, it's fifty. Uh, this is how it goes, I suppose. But do you guys remember? I'm not even sure if I even mentioned it or not. But there was a guy who was running wide open up and down the street here. Um, driving like a, an older body style Honda Civic. Well, the speed limit on the street is 35. And then as you come past my house, um, it, it converts into a 25 mile per hour zone. And uh, the 25 mile per hour zone is just like as you start coming into um, more housing more people and um, the guy I mean was just hauling ass through here I mean he was giving it giving that little Honda everything it could give and uh, Friday Friday night well Friday afternoon I was doing the, the metal video um, playing with scrap metals is what I called it he came through here screaming and uh, you know I just had had enough of it so I ended up giving the uh, Aiden PD a phone call and saying hey you know this is such and such and such and such and uh, what can I do about a guy who's really going too fast up and down the streets I, you know, I live on or whatever and um, they were like well you know who do you have any idea who the gentleman is I said no I don't know who it is. I don't know where he stays. I don't know anything about the person other than the fact that it's a red and black Honda Civic um, going too fast. I couldn't give you a tag number or nothing. Well, it turns out that that same afternoon there happened to be an accident going on down that direction that he was going in and um, what I'm not understanding is, is, is if it was him that was involved because I seen the car today and the front of the car and the windshield was busted I mean just just tore all two pieces the moral of the story is is that you save you need to save the speed and the racing and whatever you plan on doing. I mean, I, I, I'm speaking from someone who used to do this stuff all the time. And, uh, you know, I paid my time for doing it or whatever. Because, I mean, you know, I got ticket after ticket after ticket after ticket. Had to go to court numerous amounts of times. Wow. Look at that shit. Y'all thought I was playing about the bugs being out here, right? It's just a little beetle bug. I can find something to get him off. Oh man, don't be pissed off. You don't want to land it on me. I didn't land on you. Anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, the moral of the story is you save that shit for the drag strip or somewhere other than in a residential neighborhood you know I, I support street racing don't get me wrong but don't do it in town go out of town go on a back road where there's nothing but woods you know what I'm saying because if you could you know you're in town and you're going that fast and it's just one wrong move and you're done you're gonna kill somebody if not yourself you know what I'm saying but, you know, this isn't a lecturing video. I'm not going to sit up here and lecture anybody and tell anybody, hey, you know, this is what you should and shouldn't do. None of that horse shit because I've done it myself. So, you know, I'm guilty as well. But anyways, um, I will leave a link in the description for these bags if you're interested. And um, they, are, they are called Contractor's Choice Drum Liners. That, that's just the only name they give. Um, 
So if you have a 55 gallon drum and you need some bags for it, there you go. 14 bucks will buy you 40 of them. Probably really good for uh, anyone who does carnivals and stuff like that who has a bunch of um, drums laying around that they can use for trash cans. And the trash can that I did have out here used to be a, a dog food bin for my other dog that I had outside. So I ended up taking it and cleaning it up real good and taking it in the house and using it for sin. Um, that way I can just pour the food into it and you know it stays fresh, keeps the dust out of it and all that good stuff. But uh, before I sit out here and get attacked again by some other flying creature, I think I'm going to head in and get this video edited up and go from there. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. Um, tomorrow will be back on the grind for me. As in, when you watch this, it'll be Monday afternoon, Monday night. But that day I'll have worked until, you know what I'm saying? But uh, you, those of you who are just subscribing, my videos are a day behind. And uh, say, you know, if I'm recording this one now and it's Sunday night, it'll be for Monday night. And then Monday's nights will be for Tuesday and so forth. That's how I do my stuff. It just seems to be easier for me. That way I ain't got to rush to edit it, you know, edit it all up and then render it and then wait for it to upload when something else from the day before can be uploading and, you know, it just makes life easier. But, uh, many ways, spider web somewhere in here just hit me in the face. It's bad in here. It's the time of the year. I love it because I come out here and I can do stuff that I can't do during the winter, but I hate it because of all the flying insects and shit. And I did take the vacuum cleaner and go around and suck up all the, the every single spider I could find and every egg sac that I could find because the eggs had started hatching. And you know, for every egg sac, there could be anywhere from upwards of a hundred and more babies and that's just too many spiders for me to be dealing with but anyways that bug just took off and went up there um yeah That's all I got to say about all that. You guys have a good one. We'll catch you tomorrow. Oh, if today was your birthday, happy birthday.